Well, Pass. look at the time. And uh, <laughs> it's been great to have you with us this morning. <laughs> All right, what is your honest opinion of Joel Osteen? Is there competition between your church, his church, and other churches in the Houston area? Um, Wow, okay. What is your honest opinion of Joel Osteen? Is there competition between your church? Uh, let's see. I'll get us started here. Um, Go right ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can answer the second one. I, I, th I think God uses all churches, period. And I think Jesus in some way needs all of them. That's why they're here. And I have, I have visited uh, Joel's church, mm -hmm. and I have attended worship there. And uh, I've seen who's there. And um, there, is, there, is, there is powerful work of the Holy Spirit being by, done by Joel Osteen and his church. Um, and uh, I, can't, I can't think of a single church that Deborah and I have attended where we've ever felt the opposite. Um, now, you know, having said that, uh, you know, I, there, competition does emerge between churches and pastors when the church gets sick and when pastors get sick. Uh, and, uh, and the Methodist church is no different than any other church in that regard. Um, but I, you know, I think when those things happen, I, I think they, they are, it's, it's the body getting sick and, and it's an illness and, and we need to kind of reevaluate our humility and service and commitment to a greater kingdom than ourselves. Uh, but there is, you know, Joel Osteen and say, you know, it's, it's, he's obviously the largest church in America. I think he still is. And, and, and there, there are, there are some, you know, I, I, I listen to his sermons. I wish there was more scripture. Uh, I, I, I worry that sometimes we, uh, with the prosperity gospel of which he's associated with, as are other pastors, um, I think there is a danger uh, of the church falling into the trap of telling people uh, what they want to hear versus a prophetic word or a hard word. Uh, and scripture certainly provides for both. I, I believe that our God is a God of abundance and God wants us to prosper. Uh, I also think we are called to live sacrificially. And um, those two dynamics kind of work um, in tension with each other uh, from time to time in our lives. Uh, so, uh, you know, and I also struggle with the fact that I'm not sure that our definition of prosperity is indeed Jesus. Um, uh, Jesus died penniless in a, you know, in a grave that was provided for him by another. And um, so it's, it's I, th I think there's some, some, some parts of the prosperity gospel um, concern me. But, but again, I will say, just with Lakewood and, and with Joel Osteen, it's like I know many people, I know many staff people uh, who work there, and I've seen the Holy Spirit move, so I have no doubt that God is using him and that church for God's purpose. You really covered all the bases well, really yeah. effectively. I was going to say that I, didn't, I don't experience there to be competition, and then you took it and said yes, and so that's an interesting, I, I, I think that for me, and so you can answer for you, and I'll answer for me. Uh, that's I, probably good. I, I, yeah, for that's you a good and idea. For me. Um, Isn't that what we're doing the whole time? Yes, oh, it okay. is. <laughs> okay. So I think that for me, I don't experience as a competition between Lakewood and the other churches in, in the Houston area. And the reason that I would say no to that is because I think that we all serve a distinct purpose that God has called us to, a distinct location with distinct people in our walls and distinct people outside of our walls that need our witness. And so I think that there are people that need the witness that Joel Osteen provides. I think there are people that need the witness that First Methodist Houston provides. And I don't think that they're the same thing. And that's okay. And so that's why I would, that, that's where I was, that's where my head was. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Um, I try to avoid, especially when being recorded, um, <laughs> <laughs> direct criticism of another pastor by name, um, and part of the reason is I think there's wisdom in um, always keeping your ego in check as a pastor, and I, so I do think that it's very tempting after you've spent three years studying theology and you come out hopefully with some sense of this is the theological doctrine that I'm going to commit to, and therefore obviously the one you choose is the one you think is right, and I differ greatly from Joel Osteen theologically in a number of key ways. Um, I, I don't think that it's helpful to ever be so sure that we have absolutely every single detail figured out in such a way that cuts out someone from the body of Christ. Like if God is using him to produce really fruitful ministry, then it feels more like my own insecurity and ego criticizing him than is sometimes helpful. And I think that that can be a temptation that pastors run into. Um, and I also think that 
look at the fruit of the ministry. And I, I think that there are, having met several pastors who work at the church in some of the breakout ministries, that they're producing really fruitful ministry in a lot of those. Um, and so I, I think that that's true. At the same time, I do think that, I, I can't remember which, it's one of the letters in the New Testament that's not Paul's, but people say it's Paul, but it's not Paul. Well, one of those letters. <laughs> Col um, Colossians, <laughs> Ephesians. Yeah, one of those letters, um, the, the author says to watch your doctrine and your life closely, because in doing so, you will save yourself and your hearers. And I think what the author is saying is, what you believe, your doctrine, matters because it changes how you live out your life. So at the same time that I'm saying I want to avoid criticizing another pastor, I also want to charge all of you with owning what it is that you believe and doing the hard work that it takes to figure out what you believe because your doctrine, what you believe matters because it shapes the way you live your life. So both and yeah, those both things. And. Very good. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs>